I'm Danielle Jones-Wesley for the Red Carpet Report, and we're in Beverly Hills for the launch of Sebastian Copeland's new book, Artica. I'm Danielle, nice to meet you Danielle, the Red Carpet nice Report. To meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, why is this event so worthy of your, uh, you know, your attendance today? Well, I share the planet with, I don't know, a couple billion other people, and I think it's important we figure out what's going on, but I'm also an avid photographer. Uh, and though I haven't had a chance to meet Sebastian, uh, his, his work is exceptional. And I want to know more about him. And I want to learn more about what his work is doing to help prevent the planet from thawing out. Yeah. So you know the Four Seasons is, you know, green now. Have you stayed at many Four Seasons? Or? I didn't know that. The whole, all Four Seasons are green? Way to go. Way to go Four Seasons. I try, yeah, I mean, I was just telling Julie on the way over here, I've been to this hotel more times than I can count for so many premieres and junkets and, not premieres, but junkets and just events. events. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's good to hear that. It's good that it sets, you know, seeing a, a hotel and organization like this sort of set the pace and set be an example is wonderful. So do you have any new projects you could share with us, any details on? I've been DIYing my way through the holidays. Uh, I was uh, the mad scientist earlier today for our Halloween show. That is so cute. I, yeah, I know. I was mad, I'm mad. Um, no, I'm just getting ready to, you know, I'm, I'm working on a couple of photography things myself, some underwater stuff, but nothing to reveal yet. Oh, we're waiting. Yeah, you know, I'm making my way there. So you One know, day I'll have a book. So next year, you know, well, we've already started really our campaign season for next year. And, um, you know, what can we, what can we expect from our, our people that are running for office uh, with Going Green? We should hold them, I think, I think we should hold them to the highest standards because, you know what, they too are consumers of the planet. So they, if they're in charge of leading us through a green lifestyle, um, they need to be willing to stand up and fight for that. Whether it's a popular thing or not, it's the right thing. We all know that. There's... You know, it's going to be an economical, uh, it, it'll be difficult, it'll be difficult, I'm mean, listening to these guys talk over here, if it's too late or not, and that's what's frightening to hear, but that's why I'm saying it. It doesn't matter to me that if we make choices now or find reasons to change things, that if it's going to cause us an economical downfall, we need to face that. We need, because what's the solution? Oh, we, we're making money, but oh, we're all going to die because the planet's <laughs> going to fall apart. So I really think it's, we need to do something and we need to have leaders who are willing to put it all on the line. I agree with you. I couldn't yeah. agree with you more. All Thank right. you so much. I'll be running for president in 2020. Mark, 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 yeah. Mark. <laughs> if you feel passionately about Going Green projects, click like and subscribe. Or also comment below and tell me how you're going green. I'm Danielle Jones-Wesley. We'll see you later.